Welcome to the last CMS TV of the school year. We thank you for being such a great audience this past year, and we appreciate you all. And for our last show, we have a little bit of a different setup. I'm McKenna. And I'm Ivana. And for one last time, let's, let's roll, roll the, the intro. intro. Now let's send it over to Skylar and Selena out in the courtyard. Thanks, McKenna and Ivana. I can't believe this will be our last time anchoring for CMS TV. Unfortunately, our time here has come to an end, but make sure to keep an eye out for all the eighth graders graduating to CHS TV and the Sage next year. Anyways, here's our last trick shot story of the year. Let's check it out. Welcome to the final trick shot of the year. Woo! Riley, why are you holding a stick? Inside me, son of a god. I'm like a titan that's rising. No, oh, just you watch. I'm stepping into fate. There is no time to waste. I've got that lightning inside me. This is how legends are made. I'm going in. I'm cranking up on the throttle. This is how legends are made. studio next year. Same, but now we're going to send it down to Sienna and Sydney to introduce our next story. I still can't believe this year has gone by this quickly. Me too. We have one final story to share. We have a coyote camp for the students. Roll the story. Today we asked some teachers what their favorite funny story was from the 2021 to 2022 school year. Let's check it out. Um, I think one of the funniest things that happened this school year is uh, someone had one of those joke pens that shocks people and um, Unsuspecting to him, my student teacher bent down to pick up the pen and got shocked. <laughs> and um, he had no idea that it was a joke pen, so he's like, man, my arm hurts really bad. Um, but we put two and two together and figured out that it was uh, definitely one of those joke pens. So it was uh, definitely an interesting moment. My favorite um, funny moment was when um, a certain eighth grade student named Kira Ford laughed at all my silly dad jokes, like what kind of music does a rabbit like? Hip hop. <laughs> okay, a couple of funny things that have happened this year are mispronunciations of words, mainly la taquilla y los cacahuates. So I guess something funny that happened to me this year was it actually happened today, right? So yesterday I wasn't here, so I took the day off for some personal reasons. And then I got this morning, I looked at the Spirit Day calendar, and I saw that Monday was wear neon, right? And I thought today was Monday. Turns out it was yesterday, so here I am wearing a neon shirt on a day that I didn't have to wear a neon shirt. So that, to me, was kind of funny. So I feel like we laugh every day in class, but one of the more recent events was, you know, one of the days that Lily was in class, she decided that she was trying to go, going to talk herself out of our project because she was not going to have to take out student loans. She instead had contacted the Kardashians 
who had offered to pay for her college experience in full. She thought that would work. It didn't. So that was pretty amazing. Now let's see what Hadley and Alessia have in store for us. This year went by so fast. It really did. During the end of the school year, our classes make lots of fun projects. Lo and Ivana produced a podcast for their final broadcasting piece. Take it away, guys. Hey, Coyotes! Welcome back to our first and last segment of Talking with Ivana and Lola, where we discuss random things that you guys want us to talk about. Yeah. All right, sup, Coyotes? Uh, we ain't doing no podcast no more. I'm just going to do this. So are we going to go around and ask people stuff? All right, all right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Jay loves hot moms, so like we got to get, we gotta get Jay. Jay. Hmm. So who would you choose Whoa, for your zombie no apocalypse partner? Probably Ivan. Yeah, I, 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 I. I'm quick as hell, he's low-key valid. I, I, who you choosing for your zombie apocalypse partner? No cap. Bro, they do you. this every season. A lot of is kind of daddy, so he might have a good valid partner, but you gonna see. So Miles, who would you choose for your zombie apocalypse partner? So like, listen to this. Like, I would get a barrier of a Sean's cake and guard it with that, cause I, it'll take I, years. I, yeah, it'll take valid. years for the zombies to eat that before they can get to me. Oh God, if that's You're valid. Saving life, bro. Okay, he's pretty valid. He's pretty valid. Nah, All right, Brandon, bonus question. If you get in sturdy in the zombie apocalypse, I already know it for the homies all day. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> we get sturdy out here. Oh God! Max, what about you? No. You don't get sturdy. No. I don't get sturdy. I can't get sturdy. I can't. Ain't no way you can't get sturdy, bro. All right, ball holes. I'm back. I gotta say one thing. Shout out to my boy Santana from Not Very Farm. Hey Coyotes, well, I guess we don't really know what happened. It's been a couple days and we still haven't figured it out. But, yeah. have a good summer. Sending it back to the anchors. Bye. Bye. Thanks for such a unique segment, guys. Yeah, you're welcome. Now we have our very last Coyote Cam of the Year. Hey Coyotes, yesterday we went around campus to see what your guys' favorite summer snacks are. Let's go check it out. Okay. What's your guys' favorite summer snack? An essay bowl. Uh, this thingy? <laughs> uh, a smoothie. What's your favorite summer snack? Probably ice cream sandwiches. What's your favorite summer snack? Watermelon. What's your favorite summer snack? My favorite summer snack is definitely ice cold watermelon. What's your favorite summer snack? My favorite summer snack is like popcorn or nachos or something like that. Nice. What's your favorite summer snack? Goldfish. What is your favorite summer snack? Ice cream. Nice. <laughs> what is your favorite summer snack? Uh, probably like popcorn. What's your favorite summer snack? Ice cream. Nice. Well, that's all I have for you today, Coyotes. And for one last time, sending it back to the anchors. Hey, Coyotes. Yesterday, we went around campus to see what your guys' favorite summer snacks are. Let's go check it out. Okay. What's your guys' favorite summer snack? An essay bowl. Uh, this thingy? <laughs> uh, a smoothie. <laughs> What's your favorite summer snack? Probably ice cream sandwiches. What's your favorite summer snack? Watermelon. What's your favorite summer snack? My favorite summer snack is definitely ice cold watermelon. What's your favorite summer snack? My favorite summer snack is like popcorn or nachos or something like that. Nice. What's your favorite summer snack? Goldfish. What is your favorite summer snack? Ice cream. Nice. <laughs> what is your favorite summer snack? Uh, probably like popcorn. What's your favorite summer snack? Ice cream. Nice. Well, that's all I have for you today, Coyotes. And for one last time, sending it back to the anchors. So next we have Alessia and Sam wrapping up our final CMS TV in the studio. Thank you so much for watching the last CMS TV we'll ever be in. We've made so many great memories. The promoting class of 2022 has one last thing to say to you. Have a great summer! Why are my fingers like that? <laughs> Wait, we missed a part. We Ooh. definitely missed a part. Okay, <laughs> we're only gonna miss the studio next year. Same. But we're now gonna send it out down. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Coda. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Layla deleted my script. <laughs> Can we reshoot that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Can we reshoot that? <laughs>